Hello, this is our next video in a series of videos going through Young and Friedman's University Physics. And the sections in chapter 19, chapter 19 is on the first law of thermodynamics. Um, these are, most of the sections are pretty small, but I've decided rather than um, trying to join them together, probably it's best to just have shorter videos, which of course I'm wasting time with this preface. Section 19.2 is about work done during volume changes. In other words, um, uh, if, if there is a heat situation such that the volume of something expands, maybe, maybe I have a, a balloon with some air in it and somehow uh, the room temperature uh, goes up and the volume of the gas in the balloon expands. So there's work done, positive work done um, as this, this happens. And so there's work done during a volume change. So again, I apologize for my hand-drawn ditty here, uh, but I don't want to um, uh, intrude on the copyright of um, real artists. But anyway, you, you get what you pay for, right? All you have to get for this video is a, a you know a, watch an ad. Anyway, so this basically the the force that is done by pressure on a particular area. Let's say we have a cylinder. And let's say that this, this thing at the end is movable. Let's say it, as the pressure is on this, it moves you know, to the right. And so um, the force exerted here is the pressure times the area. Now that makes perfect sense, uh, but I did try to think, okay, why does, why, how can I be certain of this? Well, you see pressure by definition is the force per area. So P equals F over A. So all we have to do is multiply both sides by A, and we have that the force is the pressure times the area. Ta-da! So it makes perfect sense. So force equals pressure times area. Now we know that work is force through a distance, right? Force through a distance. So um, if we take the kind of der derivative of both sides, um, the, the incremental change in work equals the force uh, um, assuming it's constant here, well, hold that thought, through a incremental distance, okay? Uh, if, if work equals force times a distance, then the incremental change in work is the force times the incremental change in distance. But we've just seen that force equals pressure times area. So we can substitute PA for F. And now we have that the incremental change of work equals the pressure, assuming well, I'll leave it at that. Pressure on an area through an incremental distance. Okay, now we know that the area, which is two-dimensional, times a incremental change in, in uh, depth is the volume, right? Area is two-dimensional, volume is three-dimensional. So if we take the area of something and multiply it by an incremental change in in the distance it moves, we get the incremental change in the volume. And so what you can see where this is going, right? Uh, area times dx, we can substitute dv there, and we have that the incremental change in work equals the pressure times the incremental change in volume. Now we're getting somewhere. So now if I wanna know then what the work is, I just integrate both sides. And so the integral of dw is W, work, the amount of work done. So it's the integral from V1 to V2 of the pressure times the incremental change in volume, okay? All right, now, um, if the pressure is constant, then a constant comes out of an integral, right? The P comes out. And then we just have V2 minus V1 because the pressure has been constant. So. If the pressure is constant, then the work equals the pressure times the ending volume minus the beginning volume. Okay, so here are some helpful little uh, ditties by Jack and Diane, or by Young and Little Ditty by Young and Friedman, and so uh, we can use these to solve uh, some problems. Okay, again, I apologize for my hand-drawn diagrams, but hey, this is free. Um, so um, let's say that the uh, the the pressure goes down and the volume increases, okay? So we've got a pressure going from 
from a higher to a lower, P1 to P2, okay? It's going from up here to down here. And we have a volume that is expanding because it makes sense if the pressure, if the pressure decreases, then the volume is going because you know PV are inversely uh, related. So um, the integral from V1 to V2, the integral is simply the area under under this curve, right? And so the integral is the area of this space from V1 to V2 of P pressure dV. And it's going to be greater than zero, right? Uh, because the volume is expanding and so the work is positive. Okay, now what if it goes the opposite direction? And they use, uh, Young and Friedman tell us that they're going to use this hash mark to show us that it's negative. So here we have a, a increase of pressure from here to here. So we have an increase of pressure. Uh, the pressure goes up and because the pressure goes up, the volume goes down. They're inversely proportional, right? So here it's the same thing, right? The volume from V1 to V2, uh, PdV, that's the same quantity, but here it's going to be negative, right? Because negative work is, is happening uh, in that particular uh, situation. And Young and Friedman are careful to warn us to make sure that we, we so like I put V2 and V1, they, be careful, be careful which is first and which is second. The starting, this is a difficult concept, the starting one is one. And the finishing one is two. Mind blown. Okay. Now, if the pressure is constant, so let's say the pressure stays the same. I didn't even put a hash mark here, but let's say the pressure stays the same and the volume increases. Uh, then there's still work done, but it is simply the area under the curve here. So it's going to be, uh, I mean, the area of a rectangle is the length times the height, right? So the pressure, oops, sorry, we're not there yet. The pressure is constant, P, and then the, the uh, volume is simply the difference between these two. It's going to be positive because it's going in this direction. Well, that didn't take long, did it? It wasn't too hard. Thank, thank the Lord uh, if you're a Christian person. Um, we're in the middle of coronavirus in New York here uh, as I make this video. Um, so stay tuned. This has been Work Done during volume changes.